Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hawaii. We're in Osaka Kansai Airport. This is a Pokemon store, mini Pokemon store inside of the airport. Oh my god, it's a... <gasps> oh, I haven't seen these anywhere. Okay, I have to buy these. And that's how you spend $15 a second you enter an airport. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hawaii. Welcome to Hawaii, guys. We're gonna climb to the top of that mountain real quick. Hold on. Oh, 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 damn. That's the first mountain we've climbed in a very, very long time. So, we're in Hawaii. Look at that, guys. I'm sweating. All right, guys, we have moved to the state of Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, next part on this world adventure. Oh my God, we're back in the United States. It's been 11 months. It's been 11 months as of today. But we're in Hawaii for quite a little while. And Hawaii is a very special place to me because it's kind of like the place where I, I always dreamt about coming to when I first wanted to travel. Oahu, the island of Oahu that we're on right now. This is the place that, that, that kind of inspired all of this. The whole YouTube channel, everything, everything, everything. And I've never really talked about it. But yeah, two days ago, actually, we started our flight in Osaka. We flew off from Osaka and we landed here in Honolulu yesterday in the afternoon. And we've come out to a place called Waianae. This place is off the beaten path. It is kind of a very local only place. If you can see behind me, we're kind of on the top of this little mountain called the pyramid and that mountain right there is actually called the sleeping turtle so we're gonna be hanging out here we're staying in a really cool Airbnb with our host Loretta she's taking us around everywhere it's gonna be a wild time here all right bam shika bam bam we are back down there's the mountain right in front of us. So Waianae is known for being super off the beaten path when it comes to travelers coming here. And apparently the wildlife game here is amazing. There's dolphins, sea turtles, and seals. And apparently there's lots of them. So we're going to attempt to try to find them. It's a beautiful day today. We're gonna head off to a place that's really close called a turtle cleaning station. See if we can find some. Ooh. All right guys, we've jumped to this place called Makaha Beach State Park. It's like an organized state park. This is actually a really famous surfing spot, but as well, this is where the famous turtle cleaning station is. So there's actually coordinates here. And so we've been told that this pole behind me, this pole and this street sign, lined up with this other pole at the other end of the beach is actually the coordinates. If you swim to the center of that right behind me, that's where you'll find the turtle cleaning station. Apparently it's a nice little reef, a shallow reef in there. I'm really excited to jump in there. There's amazing waves, like people are surfing behind us, but you can also see where the reef kind of begins. So the waves kind of end. We're gonna head out to the water. It should be nice, relaxed. Our first taste of paradise in Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. What an amazing, incredible first day in Hawaii. I saw two sea turtles. And on top of that, we saw freaking dolphins. We saw a whole pod of dolphins. How insane was that? It was crazy. You're doing flips and everything.
and boom. We're back at the house. All right, we are going to head off again now. So we're hungry. I wanna get some food. And I promise you guys a full house tour is coming of this place. It is so cool, it's such a cool place. Um, we're gonna give you guys a full house tour in just a little bit. I think it might be in the next video. But right now we're gonna go ahead off 7-Eleven. Not quite a Japanese 7-Eleven, but a Hawaiian 7-Eleven. Excited to see what it's like. And also, we're going to get, uh, we're gonna go to a thrift shop, because there's a thrift shop here and see what we can find. I don't know whether I'm gonna film inside because I haven't been in the US in forever. I don't remember how stores are like with filming on the inside, especially with the DSLR, like a big camera. So we'll find out. What do you think, Moshe? How do you think this adventure is gonna go? <coughs> Thank you so much. All right, so we've actually been able to get some bikes from the Airbnb that we are at. This Airbnb, it's called Papaya Patch, first of all, I should probably uh, mention it. That's the house behind us. But essentially, you can rent out the gear that they have, so like snorkels and surfboards and paddleboards and whatever. But they also have bicycles, and all you have to do is pretty much sign your name, and you can rent it out for however long you want for the day. It's really awesome. It's a cool little amenity to have here. Uh, so we're now gonna be able to go a little further than what we were going to be able to go because we were walking. So let's head on off. All right, so we've actually ridden to a Jamba Juice. Moshe's gonna head in there and get us some shakes. I can't go in because I gotta watch the bikes because we don't have bike locks. But it's gonna be my first Jamba Juice. The thing is, we're back in the States now, so it's gonna be hard to avoid all these chain restaurants. But Moshe, send me a picture and let me know. I'm gonna get a good juice. Oh my goodness, guys. We're definitely back in America. <laughs> these are mediums and smalls. These aren't even the large ones. This oh one's goodness. medium, this one's medium, and that one's small. <laughs> what in the world? God, what a hit of reality when you come back to the States. Guys, I got a blueberry banana shake. It's actually pretty good. It's never gonna come close to the mango shakes from the Philippines that are like a dollar. Not even. But this is pretty delicious right now. Okay, so I found this supermarket. They were selling straight, straight from Cebu some uh, Filipino calamansi juice and mango nectar. I'm gonna dig into this. Look at that, dude. That's that's totally Filipino. Do you want some? I heard there's a lot of Filipinos in uh, Hawaii, so I'm no surprise that I found this. Oh, it's so good. That tastes actually just like Filipino mangoes. And the thing is, I was in that supermarket. They had like pancit and adobo and all that stuff. So super cool to get a little taste of the Philippines again. That was quite the bike ride. Freaking love Hawaii. This is great. What a relaxed place. It's back at the Airbnb. We're gonna head on up. Probably take showers and relax a little bit because it is Shabbat today. It's Friday. We're Jewish. We've told you this already. We celebrate Shabbat. And so today's a day of relaxation. So we're gonna probably tune down, get ready to relax. Can we just take a second to appreciate that this is the view from our Airbnb right now? God. Look at that beautiful Hawaiian sunset. This is fantastic, guys. So exciting. This is just the first kind of day in Hawaii. This is just the cusp of the adventure. We haven't even fully started yet. And it's been so chill. Sea turtles, dolphins. You guys know how much I love wildlife. So this is the beginning of a grand adventure and I'm so excited for it. I'm just feeling a lot more toned down now after Japan and like, I totally needed it. As much as it might not seem, I know a lot of you guys messaged me and asked me if I work hard. This has been a grind, especially Japan. It was like videos every single day, it was difficult. And now we get to kinda tone it down a little bit in Hawaii. So I'm excited. So guys, back in the house now. This is gonna be the end of this vlog, our first vlog here from Hawaii. Um, I'm gonna mention this right now. In Japan, I was super pressed on making every video like 10 minutes long, algorithm friendly, so we could get a bunch of views, but I'm just looking at the analytics from that. I don't think it matters. There's a lot of changes going on on YouTube right now, and it doesn't seem like making the videos longer or shorter are affecting like how my videos work. So the content's gonna stay the same, but I'm not gonna be pressed on like forcing myself to make these crazy videos that are super long and in depth every single time, especially not here in Hawaii. So we're gonna, we're gonna have a little bit of a change of atmosphere. It's gonna be more relaxed. And that's just how it's going to be. I'm going to end this video here. We're going to tell you guys your uh, Hawaiian word of the day. That's going to be aloha, which means hello, goodbye, and love, I believe. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to mix in the language, like Hawaiian language, and then pidgin, which is kind of like a broken English that they speak here. It's like a sort of slang 
situation. Besides that, make sure you check out the travelingcloud.com. If you want to get some merchandise, you can support this channel by buying some hoodies or shirts. Also, you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video from this channel because we're in a new place, new country, new dreams. Actually, not new country, but new state. Uh, also, make sure to check out the Airbnb we're staying with down below in the description. They're being super awesome hosting us, and uh, we're going to give you guys a full house tour in the next video so you can see where we're actually staying. And it's just very cool. So make sure you check them out, show them some love, and book with them. If you want to book, my description, my link, my, my thing will be down in the description below. You can get $40 off your first Airbnb if you've never booked before. So make sure you do that, especially if you're coming to Hawaii. And we'll see you in the next one. I love you a long time. Uh, goodbye.